Hi, how's it going? My name is Parker. I'm a motion graphics designer, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to use adjustment layers in Adobe After Effects. Now, adjustment layers are pretty cool because they basically affect everything that's below them with whatever effect that you want. So say you wanted to make a ton of different photos that were all animating and moving around uh, go black and white, for instance. You could just create an adjustment layer make that black and white and all your photos below it would become black and white as opposed to applying the black and white to each one. So it'll save you a lot of time. That's a pretty cool little feature. Let's get into it. So I've got my project open here and I'm just gonna bring in some footage that a buddy of mine shot surfing the other day. So I navigate uh, by going uh, file import I find my movie here. What I'm going to do, instead of saying composition, new composition, or Apple N, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag the movie here onto this little composition button that's in the project window. And when I do that, you'll see the new composition is created. It's got the same file name, but most importantly, it's the same dimensions and duration as my video footage. It's very helpful. I don't have to go guessing or changing or manipulating the composition settings. I can just drag and drop it right in there. Great time saver. So now that I've got my footage ready to play with, um, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. So say layer, oh, I'm click on my composition window and say layer new adjustment layer. Okay, so that automatically pops up above my footage here. Um, so now I can apply pretty much any effect I want to that adjustment layer and it won't actually change my footage. So you'll see here that if I just jump over to the effects and presets window and let's pick a color correction. Let's say we want to do a couple of things here. Let's do an auto contrast to and I'm just going to drag this onto my adjustment layer and drop it like that. So you'll see right away it's affecting the video footage, but there's no effect on the movie. So I can apply a number of things just like I could to any other footage. Let's also do auto levels to make sure our white levels and our black levels are, are up to par. And let's do a, I don't know, let's do a color balance. Okay, cool. So now in my effect controls window up here in the top left, I've got all the effects that I've just applied to my adjustment layer one that I can now mess with and again will apply top down. So I've got all these parameters in here that I can play with, but the real savior here is if say I had a couple of different video clips and I wanted it to apply to all of them, you can see you know, no matter what, if they're below the adjustment layer, that footage is going to be, you know, auto contrasted, auto leveled down the line. So it's a great time saver and, uh, you know, you can apply this to anything. Uh, again, anything that's below it. If it's a video effect, it's going to apply to all the video below it. Uh, the same goes with photos. So, um, yeah, utilize that to your best advantage. It's a quick uh, time saver, especially if you want to make, say, a whole slideshow that you've created black and white very quickly. One adjustment layer will do the trick. All right, again, my name is Parker. I hope you learned something. Send any requests that you've got to requests at mahalo.com.